Assalamu alaikum dear audience, this is Sanobar Sultan and you're watching a new video on Sanobar's world. So um, today we are going to discuss how to manage your monthly budget. And as you know, in the modern age, in today's time of inflation, it is even more important that you have a budget plan for your coming month. Because at this point um, in our country, it is a constant struggle between paying bills versus saving. Uh, because the price of everything is too much and your needs uh, remain the same, but the source of income is uh, not increasing at this point. So it, it's very difficult for a common man, for especially for the middle class and the low middle class to make ends meet. So I decided to put a little video out there of how we can better manage or better understand the management of um, your budget making and what to do about it. So... Um, the first thing that you need to do in terms when you're planning ahead of a budget for your month is to mentally prepare yourself to go into the saving mode. And by this, I mean mentally preparing yourself is that a lot of what we do in society is uh, related to societal and peer pressure of what is the expected list living standard for us. You know, you worry about your social circle. You worry that if, for example, I do not buy something from a particular brand, maybe my friends would consider me as not as well off, as not as chic, as not as in, you know, whatever terminologies you want to use. So uh, the mindset is to appear in our societies to appear as well off, or if not well off, then as self-sufficient self as possible. And for that, we go way above our limit. We go way above the budget that we have. Now, firstly, you have to decide to change the mindset of spending to show to the world. That basically you spend money to show to the world, yes, I'm capable of spending this much money, I'm capable of eating at this restaurant, and I'm capable of buying things off the rack from uh, this brand. Um, I have these sort of gadgets in my home of a particular um, company, you know, all those sort of things. So you need to decide to not succumb to peer pressure of putting an image out there of being well off. Um, yeah. Now, the second thing that you need to do is to uh, know how much your income is. Know your list down the avenues of your income, whether it is salary, whether it is rental income, property income, uh, you know, inheritance, what are the forms of income that you are receiving? So list them down, list them the amount that you're receiving so that you have a fair idea and uh, of where you're getting your money from and how much exactly it is that you have to decide what to do next with it. Now, thirdly, is to prioritize your spending. Now you've got your budget for the month. So how are you going to prioritize it? Well, firstly, the bills come first. You know, bills and utilities have to be paid first of all, uh, rather than saving. So once the bills and the utilities have been pay paid, then comes the rest of what you're going to do with it for the rest of the month. Now, prioritizing your billing, for example, means that you differentiate between needs versus wants. Now, what's the difference between needs versus wants? Now, needs are which is which must be done. For example, bills have to be paid, you know, school fees has to be paid, university fees has to be paid. So these are needs that are necessary. Wants are something you want to buy a particular gadget. Uh, these are wants, these aren't needs. So needs come first and then wants can be minimized according to the budget or can be allocated according to the savings that you have. There is a budget rule that is uh, very famous that is known as the 50 by 30 by 30 by 20 rule. You know, 50 ratio 30 ratio 20, where it is said that you should spend 50% on your needs, 30% on your wants, and 20% on your savings. So, you know, just to get an idea that the majority has, been, has to be spent on your needs, then comes your wants, and then savings. You know, savings for an, a rainy day, saving for an emergency situation, any kind of emergency situation, for example, medical uh, emergency situation. So, um, but the priority is, is the needs and then the wants. Now, 
once you have an idea and you've made up your mind that I want to, uh, you know, be self-sufficient for this month, what are some of the uh, practical ways in which you can save money, um, you know, in your budget? Now, I would suggest some pointers. Now, first of all, one of the common things that you will realize is that find out uh, where you're spending on miscellaneous activities. For example, you are at work and you order coffee every day from the cafe and you order a particular cafe. Uh, caffeine you know you order a particular donut you order a particular sandwich and you will realize that on a daily basis it's probably not costing you not that much but once you accumulate the price for over a span of 30 days that becomes quite a hefty amount that could be spent on something else so you know cut down on that cut down on uh buying you know eating things every day, you know, eating junk food every day at work um, or at university, because because that's that's a small amount, but that accumulates to a bigger amount if you calculate it, you know, uh, over 30 days. So um, another example could be you have a magazine subscription that you don't read, but it you know, it's constantly being cut from your um, credit card. So um, you know you don't need it but you have subscribed to the magazine but is it necessary in today's inflation uh, no it's probably not so unsubscribe yourself from such things uh, is what i would recommend uh, the second thing is eating out you know we all love to eat out it's one of the most um, common ways of bonding in pakistan but unfortunately it it costs a lot uh, in today's age and you know if you are four or five people and you go and eat out it, it becomes quite an amount um, and if you make it a regular basis if you do it twice a week so you know there are four weeks um, in a month so imagine how much that's going to cost that's a lot of money so you need to cut down on eating out and perhaps start eating food at home and um, that would save a lot of money as well Thirdly is you need to realize that do you do shopping based on a list of needs or do you go with the flow of buying off the rack? You know, anything that you see um, you, uh, in the mall, you say, oh, I like this. Let me just buy that. Do you do like that? And are, are you in a habit of shopping online? You know, you're scrolling on your phone and you suddenly see something and do you need it? Do you not need it? But you really like it and you want it. So you will um, go with it. So that's not the way. What you have to do with shopping nowadays is you have to go with buying from your needs. Make a list of what you need and stick to the list because that's the only way that you can, you know, perhaps be um, have an e work economically around your budget. And the fourth thing I would say is uh, sell your uh, old items that you no longer need. You know, that can be a source of small income so don't hoard things, you know, buy only what you need, keep things minimal in your house. And if you have old things, if you have, uh, you know, old gadgets or anything like that, you know, sell them. Um, and lastly, I would say that think of getting a side income. So for example, um, you know, baking is, you know, Instagram is really these days in with home cooking food. So if you are a female and you like baking, so you can, you can, you know, sell those baking items online. You could do that or you could harness your writing skills. If you're a good writer, then, um, you know, there are these online jobs which would uh, desire content writers. So you could do that apart from your um, main salary income or you are a graphic designer or you know how to do, uh, you know, you're in the process of learning graphic designing. So you could lend uh, some of that as a freelancer. So, you know, think of a side income and think of how you can utilize other members of your family to be a helping hand um, if they are capable or you could teach them that way. So um, that was my little uh, two cents on how to manage your budget over a month in these trying times. I know it's um, a difficult economic uh, situation for all of us around the globe, in fact, not just in Pakistan. But I hope we'll make through this and pull through this and um, do. Um, I hope you all learned a little bit from my video. So I shall see you all soon. 
and take care of yourselves and bye bye